Hi everyone, it's time to make a haunted house. The word of the day is silhouette. A silhouette is the dark shape and outline of someone or something visible against a lighter background. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna get kind of spooky today, but if Halloween's not your thing, don't worry, you can still make a house silhouette and add your own details too. You need a black paper and a uh, bright colored paper. I'm using green bright green. Make sure your name is on the back of your bright colored paper. You're going to create a silhouette or a shape in black that looks like an old, old house. Haunted houses are based off the idea of Victorian homes, those really decorative, fancy old homes with lots of stories and towers and fancy roofs. So just make a shape that's kind of more unusual than a normal house shape. Okay, I want my house to be just a tiny bit smaller than my bright colored paper, so I'm doing these straight lines down, and it's just going to leave a tiny bit of scrap paper. Most of my big black paper is going to be the haunted house, and I get to cut on the line and have just a tiny bit of black scrap paper left over. I'd like to cut out shapes that are inside of the haunted house. And to do that, I just need to fold it over. You can really fold it anywhere, horizontal or vertical, and then cut small rectangle shapes from the fold. Just like that. Now you have a window. You should probably do a variety of window sizes and shapes just to make your artwork look a little more interesting. Like I said, it really doesn't matter where you fold it, and then you just cut out a rectangle. You could have a different shape window too. Sometimes houses have fancier shaped windows, so you could experiment with that. But cut out several squares or rectangles for the windows, several shapes, so that you have lots of space on your haunted house that you get to draw inside of about the things that might be in this spooky old house. I want to make a door that opens and closes. So I'm just going to cut from the bottom and curve over. You could do it straight like a rectangle. But don't go all the way back down if you want your door to open. Just fold the door like that. Then get a glue stick and glue all over that house. You want it to make sure that it sticks on your bright colored paper. So go all around the edges and everywhere in between. So congratulations, you made a silhouette, a dark shape against a bright background. Now it's time to add the details. If you want to make this a spooky haunted house, you can. If you don't want to make it a spooky haunted house, you don't have to. But please add your own details and your own ideas to this artwork. It can be a lot of fun thinking of things that will go inside the empty spaces, or you can even use your white pencil to draw details on the silhouette shape too.
last thing is a sign that says keep out. All right, that's it guys. Have fun.